gonna gravitate to you gonna get the kid. Miami. So Miami got better picking. Miami got better picking up. Miami picking up them, T. Will and listen. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all quote me. Miami just gave themselves a chance to beat Alabama. Woo. I'm just being real. <laughs> <laughs> them boys done been there and done that. T. Will. Yeah, they, they was they was. On I never lost. The, I never lost to Alabama. I'm just being real. I never talk, lost. Man, talk to him. Never him, lost. This, this, this album, never. Alabama stuff, some serious yeah, stuff. Yeah, I never <laughs> lost. Him. All right, man. Football bill back. This time, I'm I'm D. That's X. Got it right. Got it right. <laughs> Uh, we, we got a legend in the house, man, with, 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 with another one of his kids out of, out of Hollandale, um, Junior Road Green, and Elgin Weldon, 6'5", Elgin Weldon, man. What was this you play, man? Play DB. <laughs> play DB? Yeah. Yeah? Play <laughs> yeah. Corner and safety. Live like God. Everything. Yeah? You got feet and line up at cornerback, man? Yes. 6'5", how much you weigh? 210. 210? 6'5", 210, cornerback. You ever seen a 6'5", cornerback? Never. Sean? Never. What was the tall cornerback Dolphins had that year? Sean Smith. Sean Smith. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sean Smith, like 6'3". He was Jalen's size. Yeah. Jalen, Jalen about 6'4". So yeah? He, he ain't, to me, he ain't even 6'3", no more, because he just keep growing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and the thing about it, what I tell them, if you just handle your business right. and work on your crowd, the crowd gonna make money for you. Yeah. Listen, let me see you with a legend, man. Junior Rose Green, man. Go on Google it, YouTube, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? He's Hollandale High School coach now, man. But but he's done at Auburn and, and, and the things he yeah. could talk about. And he also played with some T Will, he played with T Rob, you know what I'm saying? At, at Auburn um He's putting together he's put together a defensive backfield that yeah, we probably never gonna seen. rival he has more than Palmetto has, right? He ain't never seen no defense backfield like that. Six five cornerback, right? So some people want to say, man, six five, you can't play cornerback. What you say to that, big dog? You played football on one of the highest levels. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Uh huh. Talk if to y'all. Ever doubt that he can't play corner? Come watch him. He's six five, two ten. He can run like a deer. He can hit like a lion. See, let me tell you this. When it's a cheater, a cheater don't have to warm up for his prey. And he a cheater. Yeah. At six five. Yeah, at six five. So, with all your experience in football, right? Mm -hmm. You see him, you like, man, put him at corner. What what have you seen? You see football changing, you see because you could easily just say, man, put him at defense in and he'd be the fastest defense in up there. But what do you see? Like what what is the difference? Like you've seen you see football going in a different direction, or what is it? If they put him at just one position, they're hearing him. Yeah. You cannot play a guy like him at one position. If you got a big time tight end, you can lock him up. If you got a big time receiver, you can lock him up. If you got a running back that's killing you in the passing game, put him at linebacker, he'll cover. He can do whatever you want him to do. Have you ever seen a defense use a kid like that before? On yeah. college or? Yeah. I played with my best friend, Carlos Dansby. Carlos Dansby. 6'5", 250, smart, Dansby, instinctive. That yes. Yeah. He's a <laughs> my dog. <God. laughs> yeah, I'm talking about a straight dog. Uh, we, was in the, we was in the Peach Bowl playing against North Carolina, uh, Julius Peppers. He picked the ball off, he caught the ball out of bounds and threw the ball back in. Y'all go check that out. It's on YouTube. That. No, I, I, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Freakish athlete. So and he ended up being a linebacker, right? He was. Let me tell you, he came in Auburn. Me and him came together. So he came in as a wide receiver, tight end. Right. Moved the defense. <laughs> right. Played defensive end, linebacker. Then coach moved him at safety. He could do that. So he played in every game. He played a different position. This in the SEC. And he was good at all of it. He was good at all of it. And this before Isaiah Simmons came out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he was the first to ever do it. Right. 
So you so you've seen elite elite, and that's what elite. you're saying, right? That's what so you're I know what it looked like. Yeah. So it's that? easy. But well, it's a lot of pressure put on your back, boy. <laughs> you've seen elite. You seen that level to where no, bro. I've seen a six five dude, yeah. Yeah. one with a six two one receiver. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. when you know you it. Yeah. Uh, what was you? You played youth football? Yeah, I played for farm boys. You was a farm boy too. Come on, farm boys. Me, boy. <laughs> yeah, what was this you played farm boy? Played DB too. Yeah, you was a DB. And then I started as a DM, then went to DB. You was tall then too. I like yeah, six one, six two. You was taller than Jalen? Nah, Jalen was taller than me. <laughs> yeah, you know, shot passing. <laughs> I shot passing. Yeah. yeah. What was this you like playing? I like playing anything on the defensive side. It's fun, offense boring. I used to play offense in ninth grade, but it didn't get me nowhere, so yeah. on the defense. What you mean it didn't get you nowhere? Because <laughs> nobody wasn't looking at me for real. Well, our receivers, you know, our receivers 6'3", 6'4", 6'5". Right. You don't see no DB 6'4", 6'5", that can move. Absolutely. Both people my size play D-line. These mindsets, man, this gotta be you, man. Yeah. Because you can't have a bunch of kids on the same thing. You did that. Now, but that's, one. Talk to it, me. It takes that. And it's being real. Yeah. You can lead somebody to the water. Uh -huh. They got to drink it. When I come to practice, I come to practice with a whole different mojo. Because I got a chip on my shoulder. And I'm always tell you, <laughs> if you bet against me, you're a fool. Because I work hard. I don't sleep at night. Yeah. I'm always in the lab. Right. When these guys... I know, you called me 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, that's real. When, I'm, sitting, when they sleeping, I'm sitting looking at stocks at the computer, T at work, and he in the gym. 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like, you in the gym? What gym you in? Like, man was in the gym working out 2 o'clock in the morning. Go ahead. It just, it just, it's just the love I got for this game. Yeah. And I tell, I tell all the kids, if you don't love it, why do it? Right. Because every day you wake up and you ain't trying to be the best at... What you doing? Why the hell you woke? Why the hell you waking up? Right. I feel like you only sleep when you dead, not dead yet. Yeah. Sleep when you die, huh? Sleep when you die. Yeah. Yeah. So you've seen people six, five stars coming to college. That supposed to been good, right? Yeah. And they run into somebody like you, mm -hmm. and they realize, well, I don't love it like that, bro. I don't play against the best. I don't. And, and my dad always say. If you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. So I didn't have my battle with Ronnie Brown, Cadillac Williams, right. Brandon Jacobs, all these people that killed the NFL. Right. You know what I'm saying? When Brandon Jacobs was in, is in the league, ain't nobody want to tackle him. No. It's a true story. I, I see him on the sideline coaching in Georgia now, and I don't want huge. to. Yeah. He <laughs> huge. He's like, man, like, so, how did anybody tackle him? He, he huge. Yeah. So when he first came to campus, he was 6'4", 250. I'm talking about ripped up. Like you just cut him out of sculpture. Right. And he used to always walk with his shirt off and flexing. It's in, it's in school now with the tank top. Right. Just to show us, because he, he the rookie. So we were like, all right, we're going to show him something. So on that defense, it was me, Carlos Rogers, Carlos Dansby, t Raw, Travis Williams. So we had dogs on defense. Right. So we in practice. And he running over the, the, the second group. So Gene Chizzy, he coming up, he cuss, I'm talking about he cussing the whole defense out. He say, number one's getting up, but before y'all going up, come here. We huddled up. He said, if he get a yard, I'm killing all y'all. That's why I get it from him. I always tell him. He was him, a freshman. No, he, he, he came out of Juco. He came out of Juco, so he was okay. Yeah, so he, yeah. Was, he, he was a big boy. You know what right. I'm saying? So when our coach told us that, we already knew he meant big business. Yeah. So practice is not supposed to be live. We tackle and everything. That's why we were so good. He come through the hole. I told T, I said, hey man, you hit him low, I'm gonna hit him high. First play, T hit him low, I hit him high. They, we all crunk. That same, that same day, we had 11 on 11 bro. Fight. Yeah. Offense against defense. Coach Tumbler sat there. He talking to the reporters with his whistle in his mouth. He blow the whistle, we stopped. We was trained killers. Yeah. You understand? And that's why we went 13-0. Right. People don't understand yeah, just gonna actually use a part of why we were so yeah. good. And what they built in practice, 
that's what I'm building here. Like the mentality, like I don't care yeah. who we play, they gotta come see us. Right. And we gonna bring it to them. See, I got this thing called a sand pit. And I I know if y'all I know y'all watch Creed. Do y'all remember when they he took him in the dungeon in, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah. in the desert? Yeah. Well you see pit bulls and everything, you ain't got no nothing out there. Right. It's just the desert. And that's how I look at the sand pit. Sand pit, you can't run from that sand pit, cause that sand pit gonna make a man out of you. Right. Cause if you don't pick your legs up, you gonna fall in the dirt. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So it's a mentality that they playing one on one in the sand pit. And you gotta think about it, in the desert, it's hot, humid, you out there boxing, you ain't got you ain't got no water, nothing. I, and I tell them, I say, when you're in the jungle, dude, uh, if you ain't have no water with you, how would you get water? They don't know. You crack it, all you need is a little, uh, 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 you take it from the little bamboo stick yeah. and put it in the ground. It's water in the ground, yet people don't even know it. Right. In the jungle, and you have to suck it out. It, but it, it's a mental thing, though. Right. For you to even think about doing something like that. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? So that's my, my, my thing, what I do, it's all mental. It's no, ninety percent mental, ten percent yeah. physical. No, you could you could tell you could they all like move as one, like they all think as one. I was asking Jaden the same thing. He was up here uttering the same thing before you even got here. Um, uh, 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 about the mental and playing any position, and it don't matter, and and, mm -hmm. and being and being shoppable. Um, so so listen, you who was who the best player you ever played against? We ain't actually that yet, huh? No, but the best player. Uh, they said uh, Buzz. Buzz got Buzz. Now Buzz good. Yeah. He real good. Yeah, he he good. Like good. Yeah. So y'all played against him before? No, I'm um, seven on trials for Defcon. I went against him. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty Sauce good. Them up. Yeah. <laughs> they was going at it. Yeah. Yeah, they was going at it. Yeah. He, 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 Bud didn't get the best of him. He didn't get the best of Bud. Wait, no, he number eight for Dylan. No, he number two for Dylan. No, he was number two. eight for Dylan. No, he number two for Dylan. He was number two. Number yeah, two. Yeah, he number two. He do punt return, kick off return. Yeah, he do one right by the kickoff. Yeah, yeah. Kick next, next, hey, next right. day is Mahalo. Who you listening to in your headphones, man? Who your favorite artist? King Von Kodak. King Von Kodak. Yeah, Kodak. Yeah, right, Kodak. He, right? he, he got killed. Yeah. Right? yeah. Kodak, Kodak just got he part, just huh? He's yeah. home, huh? He's home. Yeah. Yeah. The real they say it's a clone. They keep saying it's a clone. That ain't the real Kodak. They said it ain't the real Kodak. Nah, because just look at him, man. What's up? He don't. His vibe is different. Like the old code out, he cool, you know. You ever been like, to jail? No. I mean, that's, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, that's I'm the problem. Sorry. You ever, you ever, you ever been? When well, you get your freedom awesome. taken yeah, away awesome from freedom. you, bro, you're sitting in a box. You know Change what I'm saying? And all you got is your mental. You, you you're either gonna break, go crazy, or you gonna fight. You know what I'm saying? And 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 read and and learn. Sometimes people get out of jail, come out different because they had time to sit think and think. That, See, we never really have a lot of time to think out here because we, we we chasing girls, we're going to tussie, we're going to eat, we're going to do this, we're working out, it's football, and we never have time to sit and think to change anything. You know what I'm saying? He looked different. <laughs> he looked different. He does. He, he, he looked different. But boy, if you ever have to sit in mental in your head for months after month after month and all you got is your mind mental. and you're trying to figure life out through your mind mm -hmm. you're gonna change yeah big time you're gonna change you know what i'm saying yeah, you're gonna change sitting so in the for 23 hours has he done anything has he cut anything has he said anything i saw them like holding them up walking them down the street some crazy the other day nah they just got him walking through taking pictures uh at a super bowl party in town yeah <coughs> i mean I mean, eventually he's gonna be he cool with it. Nah, he's gonna, he gonna he come back and be cool He done got fit, like he ain't chubby fat no more. Cause you ain't, you ain't got nothing to do with jail, but read and work out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll see, man, Kodak come around. He may be a different dude, man, but <coughs> his money is in the Kodak y'all remember, so he can't just change. But he might be, he may be different. Yeah. All right, that's enough talking about Kodak. <laughs> Kodak might be going back to jail, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough talking about Kodak, man. But shout out to Kodak, man. Had to see you home. <laughs> so Kodak, you say who else? King Vaughn. King Vaughn? Yeah. Um, King Vaughn, we're not that long, with it. 
Nah. He didn't really like, get big, big, big. Like a year and a half, and then he just he like got big like a year and a half. Yeah. He was just blowing up, but then he gone. If I lined all y'all up on the line, who the fastest? This ant. Huh? This is ant. Not you. This ant. You think ant faster than all y'all? It's faster. Ant faster than you. Yeah, faster than you. Yeah, faster. Yes, he is. It's faster than ant. It's harder. It's harder. I think it's ant. Jalen fast too. Yeah. I think it's ant. So, so if I line all y'all up, who's coming in last? Justin. Dog. If I put. If I put a coach in there with y'all, what coach gonna come in? Yeah, last two. He last? Dog gonna beat him? <laughs> 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 they crazy. They crazy. I'm coming in first. Trust me. Ant, 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 Ant running like that? Yeah, he moving. Yeah? He moving. He moving. Man, that's great. Ant, what, 6'3"? Yeah. 6'3", 185. 6'3", Yeah. So who you had the longest? You had Fonzo the longest? Yeah, I have I have Fonzo and, and Jalen the longest. Yeah, Fonzo and Jalen the longest? Yeah. That's why Fonzo. Yeah, he stayed with me. So how much you weigh, Fonzo? 195. 195? Yeah. I'm trying to tell X, man, X told my man Fonzo always been big. I said, man, no, man. <laughs> Fonzo was a little skinny Boy, dude, you, you know what I'm saying? Picture, they don't put sh- Yeah, I mean, even when I see him in, in the field like last night, man, I see him out there. He's standing in the middle, man, with him. Looking like with them big arms, man. Uh, that, that's, I tell you, that's work, bro. Yeah. That's work that got put in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That don't just that don't just happen. That's a resume. Yeah. That, that I put them on, cause at the end of the day, I put all of them on the same resume. Yeah. And I tell them, if you work on your craft, your craft will make money for you. Yeah. And, and what they don't realize that the body is everything to the college coaches. So when I came out and I went to the Senior Bowl. Yeah. And we had to get up there and talk in front of, not even talk, but just show our body in front of 32 scouts. Yeah. When you stand up there, if you get that, like they whispering, they like it. Yeah. But they, you just get up there and nobody ain't saying nothing, you know you got to work on your body. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So the so way you it, look, the way it, you present yourself. The way you look is yeah. everything. Right. Because when, it, just think about it, when the college coach walk up to you, they think, Oh man, they ain't doing that. They just do that. They doing that because they want to feel. They trying to see. They trying to see what what you're looking like. Looking at your limb. Oh boy, you got some long arms. Right. Oh man, your shoulders. Yeah, they do that. Right. And, and, and when when they doing that, they just right now know. Yeah. Yeah, you got big shoulders, long arms. Right. Yeah, that's how it is. Listen, Miami just picked up two coaches. Um, and you played college football uh, with them. Yeah. T. Will and, and T. Rob. Yeah. I heard T. Will talking the other day, man, and, and uh, that's. I just realized that T. Will talking to, is about he was talking about mental. Mm-hmm. Like man, playing linebacker is mental. Mm-hmm. Yada yada yada. What Miami getting in those two coaches? These are they home, your homeboys, right? We can yeah, say, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. Know them, know them. Like, know them, know them. What what Miami getting in these two coaches? Man, T. Rob will give a story about him. The war story, right? So we playing in uh, Syracuse. We went in seven overtime. It's crazy. Seven overtime. Enjoying him. So he separated his shoulder. Uh-huh. He hit the running back, but they had a good running back. Separated his shoulder. He about to go out. I grab him. Or if you leave, they coming to the other side. Whoever they bring in, we're going to lose. Wait, 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 slow down. Explain that. Slow down. Explain that. You're saying if T Rob, if you got to go to the sideline, they're going to run away from back, me. Right. They're going to run away from they gonna me. They're going to bring it back up in. And they're going to go right at him. we weak over there. Yeah. And, and they're going to win the game. Right. So I looked at him in the eye and say, bro, you stayed in this long, rock out with me. He, he rocked out with one. They, that next play, they ran that same play. Me and him hit them together. One. He cried. His shoulders separated. But, hey, it is what it is. That That's showing that he's a dog. And, and, and if you play like that, you gonna coach like that. His mental, like, is on a whole different level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he first became uh, a DC, that's when I first became a DC at South Brown. Right. You know what I'm saying? So both of us came in it kind of together, as far as in that coaching role and getting that that title. So you know, we always brainstorm little different stuff, and I I I, I share things with him. He share things with me. Uh, they getting a great guy. Yeah. Hell of a recruiter. Everybody hate him. I know college coaches hate him. But they hate him. They got to hate him because he get all the, the, the great players. And, and I always tell people, 
If nobody gonna hate you, you ain't doing it. That's just like high school football. I know coaches don't like me, because I get, I get all the kids. Yeah. And you know why I get them? I, I get them as far as mental, I train them, discipline. You know what I'm saying? And I tell them, before I let them go out there and mess their life up, I'm gonna beat them up. Right. That's just what it is, because at the end of the day, when I was growing up, God bless dead, Coach Gray, he a legend. Coach Gray is like Walt Frazier and Dave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. In Brown. Dilla, right? Tell me Dilla. Yeah, Dilla. Coach Gray is the man. Right, right, right. That's why they named the stadium. What's wrong with you? He always talking about Coach Gray, man. He thinks we got some Dave Broward bias, man. Right? Oh, listen, he the real deal. Yeah. Just like y'all talk about, like Walt Frazier yeah. is a legend. Coach Gray is a legend. When you talk about Broward, Coach Gray is a legend. When you talk about Dave, it's, it's Frazier. Right, right, right. Frazier. Yeah. So at the end of the day, being that I came up under that, I'm going to get right back to this. I'm, the way he gave it to us, I'm going to get back to these kids. And look at me. So I'm I'm a prime example of what he 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 put out there. Yeah. You understand? So it's times where he used to make me run home while he in the car drive from Dillon. And yeah. I stayed in Portland. He made me run home. I used to run on sides home every day. But when I got down out there on the field, they thought I was a grown man out there. Right. Just by the look thing. But he couldn't push everybody like that, huh? He couldn't push everybody like right. that. He seen it's something and he know like, oh, I can cuss this kid out and I hear I look at him. All right, coach, I got you. Thick skin. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's why college coaches love my kids, because they know they got thick skin. And when you got thick skin, you can play anywhere right. in college football. Right. Because them college coaches love that now. Yeah. Because Brent Bellman came when I was at MacArthur and sat out there for two hours. Brent Bellman was the, the, well, from, from the DC from, no, the DC from uh, Clemson. Clemson, Clemson, Clemson. You understand? Oh, Venable, Venable. Yeah, Venable. 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 Yeah, okay, yeah. Venable. So he came out there to look at a couple of kids and then we had practice. So he stayed out there, he was like, dang, coach, you make me want to play. By the way, you be talking to these kids and how you fire them. I said, coach. One thing about me, a lot of people can play the game, but they can't coach the game. Right. Or they don't know how to de deliver it to the, ki the kid and bring the best out of the kid. Right, right, right. You understand? It's a difference between coach and teacher. I call myself a teacher. Because right. it's all about technique, being a technician, looking at details, how, the, the spit of wide receiver, the way he, he curves his feet, the, the, the split from the sidelines, right. all that. When you know all that, you can jump routes. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And so when you put that in their head, come on. High school? Right. What high school coach you know that's doing that? Right. I'm just keeping it 100. You play with T-Wheel too, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Where they getting in T-Wheel? T-Wheel. You ain't saying nothing about T-Wheel, man. We, what, we getting a rapper? No. <laughs> T-Wheel. You know, I can go I can go long about these boys. I know. I, I done, I'm sure I done you been can, in the man. trenches with them. You know, and we going to go long about them. T-Wheel <laughs> was, hey, T-Wheel, he was six foot, Live two and five Live, yeah. in the SEC. That's right. hard. And now I'm talking about was a straight dog. Yeah. Getting off blocks, we playing against linemen that's 350 pounds, 6'6, six, 6'7, six, 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 Right. And he's stinging them, getting off. But you gotta think about it, he playing on the side of Carlos Dance. So you gotta up your game. Right. You understand? When you playing against the Buckets right. watch, you know what I'm saying? Right. He on the Buckets watch this. So that ain't do nothing but bring the best out of T Will. Make them better. And when I tell you somebody that low and game, fiery, go play with a lot of energy, go wear his cleats to practice, I think he'll demonstrate whatever he need the kids to do. Mm -hmm. That's just who we are. Like T-Raw, he's going to wear his cleats. Yeah. And, 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 and t Will going to wear his cleats. What do you mean by wearing cleats? The practice thing. Because you got to be, you got to show them. You can't just oh, ask you know, all that. No, we got that. Some, some oh, people man. got on regular turf. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. Oh, you saying as coaches, yeah. they going to all get you. Yeah, they, they got their cleats on. They going to have their cleats on. Yeah, they, they, can, they, can, demonstrate they can demonstrate. So, so my, if so, you can demonstrate, you got you going to gravitate. You're going to get the kid. Mind. So Miami got better picking 
Miami got better picking up. Miami picking up them, T. Will and listen, I don't care what nobody say. Y'all can quote me. Miami just gave themselves a chance to beat Alabama. Woo. I'm just being real. <laughs> <laughs> them boys done been there and done that. T. Will. Yeah, they, they was they was. On I never lost. The, I never lost to Alabama. I'm just being real. I never talk, lost. Man, talk to him. him. Never lost. This, this, this album, never. Alabama stuff, some serious yeah, stuff. Yeah, I never lost to him. <laughs> talk to uh, him. Coach Tupperville, he undefeated against them people. You know, just like how y'all don't like Florida State, we hate them. Outside of this football, we, it's love. Right. But when it's football, it's 360 some days that if you lose that game, you Got pissed it. off. Yeah. Gotta wait the whole year. You gotta wait the whole year to see them people again. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And coming up to the game, we only call them their name. We say the, the people down the street. That's what it is. And if you interviewing them, they gonna say the same thing about us. How close are the schools? Tuscaloosa. Is it kind of close? Like about an hour, what, two hours away? Two hours away? Yeah, they ain't that far. Is it true, man? You coming to Alabama? You gotta pick a side. It's you like, gotta pick a side. You, they, they, oh, it's like a, a normal question. Oh <laughs> like, man, you gotta yeah? pick a side. That's just like if if I got a kid, if he go to Alabama, he go to Auburn. Yeah. I gotta choose. I'm gonna choose Auburn. Right. The day, oh, the day we play them, I don't know who he is. That's just how it is, yeah. and that's gonna be my kid. That's how serious it is. And you say that. That gave that gave Miami a chance to beat them because of what the mentality, right? The mentality. And, and, and T. The mentality. Will, he's not gonna put your butt on that field right. if you ain't got that mentality. That we don't see no Alabama. Right. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a weird dynamic because it's like when Miami was on top in Florida State, or maybe when Florida State had Jameis Winston, they were on top, right? Mm -hmm. But you walk into a Miami locker room before that game, and it's a mindset of well, we know it's Florida State, but we don't see them. Don't see them. And that's something that Auburn has. People who yeah. play for Auburn Bama, has yeah. over Bama. Bama. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, no, we don't see them like that. We don't see them, <laughs> we don't like, see them like that. It's going to be a war. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So this is a mental thing, man. No, his, his, his interview, his interview um, he spoke on that. He, uh, like when he said when he first walked in with the linebacker meeting, he told him to write the linebacker's name on the, um, on the, uh, on the wall, board. on the board. Mm -hmm. And Everybody started writing down all the great linebackers' names, and he like, well, now look, these are the guys that y'all gotta play like. If y'all ain't playing like this, y'all won't be long here, mm -hmm. right? So like that mentality right there, yeah, like, I, I, I can see it. Like everybody, like, man, did you see the interview? I'm like, I was, I, I was, I was live with the interview. Like <laughs> you was in it, yeah. yeah. I was, I was hyped too, cause I'm like, damn, coach put me in right quick, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, he talked a good yeah, game, man. Right. Talking talk a good game, so it, man. Coach. Ever I, this 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 thirty minutes with him. He talking like this, man. He ever he ever piss you off? He's like, man, come here, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> yeah, okay. One question I wanted to ask y'all, like, when y'all in the game, um, I think I asked, I think I asked Jada this. So y'all in the game, um, say y'all play against a team that got probably one of the greatest receivers out there. Do 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 y'all get? Do y'all come to each other and be like, man, let me cover him. I got it. No, we. Oh, y'all just be like, man, well, y'all just trust him. That's your side, you yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, y'all good like that? You, yeah. Y'all show? Yeah. Out of there, we, we, we might cover, they play 10 games, we might cover 9 games. <laughs> they should be good. Right now, they talking like. You, you, talk you, you don't build it. You don't build it, man. Listen, I heard a lot of weird stuff when you was out here in the recruiting trail. People was talking about. You out here lying, mm -hmm. saying kids was tall. I love it. I love it. And, and, and I love it. So I'm the person of I know how haters move. I love it. We 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 listen, bro. All of y'all, fame and haters aren't so separately. Mm -hmm. It goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. The higher you go up, yep. more people gonna hate you. Yep. You get high enough, yep. people who standing right next to you, who you They'll thought was you. your friend, They'll hate gonna you. Gonna start hating you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they was telling me you was telling people your kid was six five, but they no, are not. six five. Like, <laughs> they not too big. Like they are six three. Like, like what? Like, <laughs> like that? No, they they are. They six five. They six three. Yeah. Six, two. Cause when they, they were like, uh, Jalen Marlin, man, he ain't that big. I said, man, I stood next to him. Yeah, six, two. like uh, I'm six two, and the man is bigger than me. I'm like, he's right. way bigger than me. No, right. If you write it on paper and you hand it to somebody, they gonna be like, man, this man is insane. He's lying. Hey, hey let me tell you something. It's so right. funny. That's why I know people, they, they they don't really do their research. Right. If you see that I played the game at the highest level, why would I lie? Because I got a name just to get a kid. Right. 
that ain't me. You can't lie. You can't. Because you're talking to your peers. People I'm talking to know. people I done played <laughs> right, against. Right, right, right. That right. I done played with. Right. So they getting paid big money. So you think I want to take money out their kids? Listen, man, I it's believe crazy. me, bro, listen, I understand how hating works. Yeah. I, I do. I, but I love it, though. Yeah, I understand how I it works. It. The higher you go up, the more people are going to hate. And the, the higher you get up, just go look at Floyd Mayweather, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Go look at all the stupid stuff people saying up mm-hmm. under them. All the peasants. All the people mm-hmm. just want to, you know what I'm saying, say something mean because mm-hmm. they at house ain't right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's just how life is, man. Yeah. So when people... Start talking crazy. I gotta go find out myself. And okay. I told you, bro, last night, ten o'clock last night, I could barely walk. I was tired. I said, "We, we got you. Yeah. I see what you out here doing. Got uh, Floyd face from uh, Beyond Reality. He said, "Boy, I'm trying to get the dog out." Yeah. Floyd say, "Man, I like it, man." Yeah, that's real. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got to. You know uh, what I'm saying? Cause it's he, Floyd. Floyd, the one that played, right? The uh, Webb. 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 Webb's, Webb's, Webb's the one that played. Webb. Floyd he, he got, he, 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 he got, he got, he got some skills, right. but he ain't got that dog mentality. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I have to bring it out on because yeah. they got it. His brother played in South Carolina. So he said, I think his brother played at the University of South Carolina. His, be, his older brother yeah. be telling me the same. Like, the older I brother? Love, yeah. That's what I'm talking he, about. He, yeah. like, he said, Coach, I love what you Because you is the type that'll bring the dog out of him. See, right. he don't even know he got dog in him. Right. Nobody never brought it out on him. Right. Because you got to reach in their soul. He has the ability. Yes, he got the ability. He got yeah. the feet work. He, Got the he'll way. hit you. Like I saw yeah. him in Tiger Football. He'll it, hit it's you. Just, it's just, he ain't got that. And if it's if it comes down to me drafting him, or uh, uh, where I'm going to draft him. Right. He got the dog. He bigger. Right. You understand? So you want to make it even. Like, right. he bigger, but shit, he got dog too. Right. So uh, I got to close my eye and pick this one. Right. That's how I go. Right. I mean, um, them two kids, man, I saw them from, from coming up. Uh, it's funny, man, that game, that full out that hurricane game when y'all played the farm boys, they were just starting. Like, they was like, man, I, I, I got them on the sideline, you know what I'm saying? Because they wasn't really into, uh, they had just started with the media stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I put them on the sideline at, at that game. Um, and I tell them all the time what they created, man. I hope they, they I try to teach them the value of what mm-hmm. they created. They've created a reality show. Mm-hmm. And I was like, listen, bro, it don't matter if Webb, I, I mean, he make it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if y'all just keep doing the show. Y'all good. Yeah. Y'all good. y'all good. And that's the power of media. And I want all y'all to understand that when it comes mm-hmm. to social media. Yeah, you got you to gotta put yourself out there. Right. You got to sell yourself. That's why I tell people. I say, anything I'm selling, they're going to buy it. Right. That's just what it is. Because I know how to sell it. I know how to put my kids in position. Right. Because if you put a kid in position and you give him the mentality, he's going as far as he's going. There it is. Listen, man, we're going to see a lot of you this year, all right? Yeah, for sure. Um, we're going to get up out of here, man. Caneville Football Bill. That's X. Y'all make sure y'all like, share. Hollandale, Rose Green. We out of here, man. All right. Peace. Good, we took the key in. <laughs> Take three motherfucking things, and that's what? He's the boss, he's the boss, he's the boss, he's the boss.